It is indeed a very lovely day, as always, here in New Jersey. But what do you know? I literally just realized that we just blacked out my key. Also, <laughs> that's wild. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. Oh, she's not sleeping. And this, this is the new addition to the family, right? Is this Hammer? Say hi, Hammer. Hi, everybody. I'm the little Viking. So the reason for you guys tuning in today is for those HET design keys. Well, this is not bird poop, by the way. That's uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, honey? Puke? Uh, that's okay. You, she likes it up here. And my point is, guys, follow my easy steps, and you two at home should be able to tackle this project no problem. Can't quite remember, but... There we go. So... Little force, and you always want to open it with the front side facing down. And this is actually the money shot right there. This is the main reason why I'm doing the video. Let me take it apart so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You're literally bringing it down to this, your original key. But yeah. And everything's said and done, the piece we're actually trying to extract with the Dremel is this guy, which is an immobilizer of sorts. This guy will give a handshake with your um, immobilizer in the car, confirming that it is indeed an authorized key. So this is basically what we're gonna extract in a second, but all in all, it's not that complicated. All right, let's open this up together. Instructions. And like I said before, there's your Allen key with the screws. I like to keep these guys in the bag until needed. Same goes for these buttons. And this is your actual body that you will meet in a second uh, look at that they actually uh, now have the logo in the back of it it's pretty cool but it's basically going to be the opposite of this black buttons red case all right let's go ahead and um take the skip part small little flat head always helps Insert it in the groove, twist it like so, work your way around, and there you have it. And then I'm gonna take your body out without dropping it. Before I turn on the carnage here, I want to show you guys exactly what I was referring to. So, obviously, you're gonna need your key portion. So that's kind of easy, you gotta break it off and then shave off the excess down to the metal. Of course, keep in mind, this is going to be garbage when you're done. And last but not least, this is the key component right there. If you see whatever sits inside this little section here, this is what you gotta extract. Now, for those of you that have never done this, I can tell you from personal experience, if you do somewhat touch a little bit of that section with the Dremel, don't worry, it's still gonna work. The key is that you're able to extract this to then make it fit right there. It's pretty simple, don't be afraid. Again, let's trash this. Now to accomplish this, I brought myself an array of different types of pliers. This will make all a lot, a lot of sense in a second. Also a sharp knife and what I believe to be 
most importantly would be the Dremel. This is the attachment that I usually do. It goes without saying, guys, always, always safety first. Wow, I gotta say guys, this was not expected. Look at that. I'm not even gonna have to use the Dremel. This is the piece you gotta extract. I'll take it. That was pretty easy. Okay, so clearly, do not lose this guy. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and step further. Please excuse my little newborn in the background. Place this guy right there and do not lose it because you're gonna need that. Now, again, let's just. <laughs> All right, let's see. So there's no right or wrong way of doing this, really, guys. You just gotta literally <laughs> destroy what you've known for to be your key, car key, and go to town, literally. It's not going to be reused, clearly. Um, yeah, just gotta get rid of this stuff. Obviously, we're trying to cut, cut the plastic only, not the metal portion. We're trying to expose the metal only. I kind of nicked mine a little, as you will see there. Um, honestly, you guys, it's really not the end of the world if you do, because we're still okay. Could only get it to focus, but anyways, we exposed the metal, and now here we go. Let's let's actually clean up the area, shall we? Before we actually go ahead and uh, put together our key here. I want to go over the um, this portion of it. it it's smart if you are this far in might as well take this guy apart and replace the battery that's inside of it uh not gonna lie to you this is almost like uh, an acquire uh, skill here because i've been at it for a little while but there it is of course go figure i don't have the right battery but it is um cr2016 uh, it's smart to replace it, but if you can't do it now, it's also not the end of the world. So, go ahead, close it back up. Always, you can check to see if it works by clicking on it. Light comes on. All right, let's get back to it with all the soundtracks in the background. Immobilize your piece in place. Do not lose that, of course. These little pieces, you're gonna have an extra one, that's okay. Place it to the side, and this is basically just like, a, almost like a puzzle here. You gotta match the pieces. I so happen to have the, the key that I can look, but to be honest with you, they kinda all just fall into place. They only go one way and one way only. Some of these pieces might wanna fall. There you go. So once that's there, you grab this guy again, only goes in one way. It's almost like playing with Legos. Place it like so. As you can see, you're always working with this piece facing down. The key, again, only goes in one way. This guy, you actually got to press it. It's not a smooth, uh, easy matching to one another. You really have to press it in there. There you go. A little bit of uh, resistance on that piece but if you work your way in it eventually will go in there like so you can now turn around confirm the location of your buttons turn them back around 
grab the other piece and install it like so and then this is when we go hold on am i installing this wrong of course i am see <laughs> there's a obviously only one way it goes in so that side like so as you guys can see i'm doing this live because i wanted to make sure that you guys see it how easy it is to do uh, these screws obviously go on the front side i like to place them all in there so that we can work them evenly and then with the allen key provided you can uh yeah screw them in again i like to do it a little bit at a time instead of running one side only all the way just to sort of make things um acclimated to one another and that way you don't run the risk of cross threading anything again guys i apologize if this is a long video but i figure why not do it on the fly and show them exactly how long it takes in real time right I think you guys can appreciate that. And if you're wondering what the squeaking is in the background, yes, that is my little newborn. And there you have it. One AGT key design done. Now I got two. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody's support. Before I forget, I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. And also, the like button. Subscribe. Tap Perhaps. it. Tap it. Tap oh, it. Tap the like button. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and enjoy a little eggnog and maybe sit down and watch a movie by the fire. What do you think? Sounds Say bye -bye. good. I think she's had enough. It is, of course, guys, and not a lovely winter day here in New Jersey. But hey, what do you know? I'm over here looking at the key that we just did. And lo and behold, I just blacked out my key without even realizing it. That's super cool. Super important too. Make sure everything is working as it should. There you have it. Super easy to do, guys. Let me know how it works for you.